Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Suja's Driving School Theory Trivia. On today's trivia, we have a very special guest, AJ Shabiu from the Beta Squad. Now, if you don't already know AJ, he's known for his hilarious pranks, epic challenges, and big energy. But today, we're putting his driving theory knowledge to the test. AJ is going to face five theory questions, and for every correct answer, he wins one free driving lesson. But there is a catch. If he gets one question wrong, it's game over. Luckily for him, he's got three helplines to use. But will it be enough? Let's see if AJ's theory knowledge is as sharp as his pranks. Let's get started. I'm gonna ask you five theory test questions, okay? In these five theory questions, you've got three helplines. Audience, you can call a friend, or you can ask anyone on the road any of the theory test questions. Cool, cool, cool. If you get your questions right, you get one free lesson for okay. each question. Again. All right, let's go. However, if you answer one question wrong, you lose all your... Work. All of it? All of it. Game over. Okay, Done. all right, cool. All right, okay. fair enough. Cool. Let's, Let's start with question number one. You know what? I'm gonna start straight with a very difficult one. Question number one: Where would you see a contraflow bus lane? I think that you don't know this question. That's why I picked this question. A on an urban motorway. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I, can I get yeah, this? yeah, yeah. You yeah. can see. You can see. Where would you uh, see a counterflow bus lane? On an urban motorway, on a dual carriageway, on a roundabout, yeah. on a one-way street. Okay. So don't cool. press next because otherwise we'll give you the answer. Cool, 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 cool. What is it? It's B. B uh, on a dual carriageway. On a dual carriageway. So he said B guys, if you lock it in and you answer this wrong, game over. Okay, I didn't think so. That. You have three half lines. So do you wanna be in the Guinness Book of Record of having the quickest let me see that. Let me see YouTube video? Let me see maybe, maybe. Let me see would you see where would you see this? Okay, cool. So so let me just round everything, the ones that yeah. can't be. Read yeah. out loud for us, right? Read a out loud. Flow bus lane. Not on a one way street. No way it could be. Not on a roundabout because it would have shown you the roundabout, yeah? Yeah. Uh, motorway, no. So it's not motorway, yeah? Yeah. So it either has to be one way street or dual carriageway. Now, as you can see, yeah. two arrows going up, it has to be dual carriageway. If you lock it in, uh, you can say locked okay, in. Okay, so it's one way street or dual carriageway. So which one is it? Why would you have a counter flow system for a dual carriageway? Yeah. There's no need. You one can way use street. your helpline if you want. I'm just saying, just, there's three helplines. There's no way it's roundabout or urban motorway. I'm going to trust myself on the first one. We're gonna trust yeah. you. I don't think it's an You're urban motorway. What, what bus is going on an urban motorway? That's my question. Uh, dual carriageway, yeah, I've seen some buses on there. Uh, no, it's, it has to be one way street. One way street? Okay, are you gonna lock it in or are you gonna use it? Your... Oh, why is this the first question? Why is the first question? Is, I made it hard because we only have five questions. You're gonna lock it in? Uh, are you gonna lock it in? Uh, uh, dual carriageway. So you think one way street? You got you? Okay. I'm gonna lock it in. Yeah. Are you sure you're gonna lock it in? I'm gonna ask you three times. So basically the question was, where would you see a contraflow bus lane? This one over here. AJ said on a dual carriageway. I'm gonna ask you once. Are you gonna lock it in? So I'ma say if you answer this wrong, this will be the quickest YouTube video we ever did together. Alright, cool. What's my lifelines? All a friend. Yeah. Ask the audience, yeah. or ask anyone from outside to, you okay, to help I'll, you I'll out. Ask the audience. You're gonna ask the audience. Yeah, yeah, Are you sure? Yeah, You're I'm gonna ask I'm the gonna audience. Okay. The audience. You can read the question for them. Where would you see a counterflow bus lane, which looks like this? See that sign right there? Where would you see that? Now, would you see that on an urban motorway? Maybe on a on a dual carriageway, on a roundabout, or on a one-way street? Now, my answer was going to be one-way street or dual carriageway. I didn't know which one it was, but the fact that it's an up and down. Yeah. There's no coming down on the same lanes. One way street? Everyone is saying one way. Aye, AJ. Oh my God. But I said one wait. way. No, you said, no, no way. Wait, wait, everyone, most both. people are saying one way, but you said like dual carriageway. Let's use logic, the normal human brain, yeah? Okay. All right, motorway. All right, cool. Why would there be a counter flow on a motor? It don't make sense. All right, cool. Roundabout, no. There would have been a roundabout sign. I've seen that normal, it's not roundabout. Dual carriageway. You're only going forward as well. It has to be. So maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're, maybe you guys are wrong. Maybe it's not one way. No, think, a lot of people say one way though. I, I, I think, think it is one way. It, it is must one, be way? one way. Why would you need a counter flow? A counter flow. What if they're all trolling you and they just don't want Imagine to you guys troll me. You guys troll me. <laughs> Bro, this is the first question. <laughs> one way. Everyone's saying one way all my days. Like, why, why would there be a counter flow for a bus on a dual carriage? I don't. Yeah. One way. One way. One way. I gotta yeah. lock in. Yeah, because he's I, locking it in, guys. He's locking lock it in. Locked in, locked in. Locked in. Okay. Locked. Yeah. You know the thing about him, yeah? He uh, says, "Are you sure? Are you sure?" Every time when I go somewhere. So it's okay. like what? And the right answer, AJ, for this one was. One way, let's go. <laughs> I 
Hey, you know what? I hate this. I hate this. I hate this, I hate this. You have one free lesson earned. That was really good, that was really Let's really go chat. Good. I'm happy for you. The next question. That was a hard one for our first one. It was one. a hard one. The next question is also gonna be a hard one. This one is question number two. If you get this answer right, two free lessons. If you answer wrong, game over. Why should the junction on the left be kept clear? So this junction, why should that be kept clear? A, to allow vehicles to park. B, to allow the bus to reverse. C, to allow vehicles to make a U-turn, or D, to allow vehicles to enter and merge. Uh, so why would this junction... Why would you not block a junction, junction there. that junction there, to allow a vehicle to park, to allow the bus to reverse, to allow the vehicle to make a U-turn, or to allow vehicles to enter and merge? Yeah, allow vehicles to enter and merge, because you're blocking a whole path from people coming in. Okay. That's a simple answer. Let me go through the, all the answers okay. just so you see. To allow a vehicle to park, why the hell would you want to park there? You're not allowed to park there. Yeah. Uh, khalas. Okay, fair like, enough. You don't wanna, you're not allowed to park yeah. on that junction. Yeah. Why would you want to park there? Cool. To allow the bus to reverse. That bus has space to reverse there. And also, that is, it's part of a reason, but the bus is not going to reverse into here. Yeah. It's, too, it's, too, it's too of a weird fair answer, enough. yeah? Allow vehicles to make a U-turn. If I'm correct, yeah? Bus and U-turn on the main road, yeah. Not, you should not be it's doing wild. that as well. It's wild. Yeah. So the only answer, logical answer that makes sense is to allow the, allow people to enter and uh, emerge. So you're gonna it go put you're gonna go put yeah. that. Are you sure? You're gonna lock in? Yes. 100 percent I'll lock that in. You're not gonna use a lifeline? No, I'll put okay. full on that. He said so we checking if it's right, correct? Yeah, pause there, I'm ready. To and the right answer was to allow people to emerge. Let's go! Now we're getting somewhere. Let's go. Well done. Come on. Two. So another free lesson. Well done. That was really good. The next question number three, we've got like, two more questions left after question number three. What does it mean if this light comes up while you're driving? The sign comes up. A, fault in the braking system. B, the engine oil is low. C, your seatbelt isn't fastened. Or D, the rear light has failed. Look, what does it mean if this light comes on, yeah? So it's definitely not your seat belt isn't fastened because I've seen those in cars when I'm sitting in the passenger and I see a little seat belt thing come up. Yeah. So it's, that, the, so it's, it's, it's not seat belt. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know much about engine oil being low. Yeah. I don't know much about engine oil in, in general, but it's not engine oil. I don't know. It's, it's such a rare thing. I've never been in a car yeah. where a braking system has gone wrong or oil has gone left. A, a rear light has failed. So what are you gonna think? What do you? What are you a thinking? rear light has failed. I don't think there's a sign for that. That sign looks like something big is going on. Like the braking, like yeah, the braking no. system or engine? That yeah. seems like engine and yeah. braking more, That one of those two. And the thing is, what's the difference between these two here? At oil, it would have told you oil. So yeah. I'm thinking braking system. You're thinking braking system? I'm thinking, because oil, I'm pretty sure oil would have came up. Something wrong with the oil or something, yeah. or come up as a text. Or, uh, you're gonna lock it or you're gonna use your second half line. You can use, you got two more half lines left, you know, and you got three questions left after this. So if you answer this wrong, I'm giving you a heads up. Game over. You're done. We're going back home. All right. But if you answer this right, we're gonna go to the next question. We've got two more questions left after this. Gonna, what's, what's, my what's my tail lines? Asking someone to um, the end? Ask someone on the road or call a friend. Or call a friend, yeah? Let's see who I can call. So you're gonna use your helpline? I might use my helpline. Who are you gonna call? Call this guy. Which, which guy? Kenny? Yeah, Kenny. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll call Kenny. Call Kenny. We should call Kenny. I think he should know. Ken Kenny passes his test, right? Kenny, test Kenny yeah. Yo, 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 listen up, listen, listen. I'm on a stream right now. I just need to ask yeah. you a quick question. Are you streaming? Yes, I need I need a quick question. <laughs> Basically, I'm doing my driving stuff, right? My my theory. And one of my helplines is calling a friend to ask for some advice. How, how long have you been driving for? I've been driving since I've been 16. So for a louder, for a louder. Geez, yeah, this is loudest. 10, 11 years. 10, 11 years you've been driving, yeah? Cool, so, okay, so I'm gonna read the question for you, yeah? <laughs> what does it mean if this light comes on while you're driving, all right? So this is, this is the light that comes on when you're driving, yeah? yeah. That's the light, and all right, cool. So, that, so the question is, a fault in the braking system, the engine oil being low, your seat belt isn't fastened, or rear light has failed? Engine oil, engine oil. What? You reckon that's engine oil, yeah? Wait, let me explain, let me explain. Kenny, let me explain. Kenny, I'm Ozzy, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. You're on live right now. If he gets his answer right, he will go to the next question to win five free lessons. 
if you answer this question wrong, it's game over, no free lessons. Oh my god, So, what does this sign mean, Kenny? What does this sign mean? Is it fault in the braking system? So, he said oil, yeah? Engine oil. Man, listen, look. My logic on this is this, look. It's basically, this looks like the rear light. The red and the orange, yeah? No, 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 wait, is that? Wait, what, what, what were the answers again? A fault in the braking system, the engine oil is low, yeah. seat belt isn't fastened, or rear light has failed. The first one. Braking, yeah? Wait, is someone helping you? <laughs> Kenny, is someone helping you? Text. A what cup? Like like okay, cool. All right, yeah, I was wondering if it was oil. That looks like that looks like engines about to blow up. Sign. All right, cool. I'll trust you on that one. I'm about to find out if it's wrong or right. Engines about to blow up. All right, bye bye. All right, say nine. Love. Oh my God! Wait. So what did you say? What did Kenny say? Kenny, so Kenny said, said that is that is a braking system. That's a braking system. Yeah, that's what? a braking system. But Fair enough. Okay, cool. So you're gonna lock it in. You know what? I'll trust Kenny. Yeah, let's lock in the braking system. Although he wasn't sure. He said yeah, first. My mind's telling me now. Oil. And then now he said braking system. If you get this answer right, we go to the next question. Got two more questions left with one help. Yeah, let's trust him. Trust him. Yeah, let's trust him. Okay. Yeah, let's trust him. Or you can use another helpline. No, I trust him. I trust him. You can trust him. Gonna lock it in. He locks it in. Yeah. Uh, let me ask the view. He locked it in. You can't change anymore. But we can ask the viewers right now. What do you guys think it is? It is this rare. one here. Let us know. You can look at the screen now. Uh, if, it's they say if, it's, a, if it's real light, I it's swear to God, I swear I'm a going breaking nuts. A lot of, a lot of, I see some A's. I see Ruby saying A. I see uh, D saying A. I see Bestie. Safa said breaking. Who else? Ta, Tao, Safa again, A, Alina, Beta, Breaking. Now, nah, you know what? I think you're right. Yeah, it must be. I must think be. because okay. everyone is saying, I don't see anything Hopefully. else. Someone said QT, Batuti. <laughs> They're probably talking about you. <laughs> probably talking about that guy over there in the back. Hey, that's a, who even used that word? Oh, that's funny. And let's go. I fall in the braking system. That's what you answered. Yeah. Let's see if this is correct. Let's see if Kenny is, is right. And the right answer was. Breaking system! Let's go! Let's, but I, I don't like the fact that Kenny's first answer was oil. He's been driving for over, He's 10, been years. over 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Kenny's been driving over 10 years and his first answer was engine oil. That's a bit concerning. That I'm is not terrible. Lie. That Kenny. is terrible. Kenny, that's terrible. Yeah, that is So I think what? Kenny should do his theory test again. I think we should report that Kenny to the DVSA because he doesn't know his theory yeah, DV, test. Yeah, DVSA, sure if you're watching this, Kenny Ojideri, grab him. Yeah, grab him, take his license off. We're gonna go to question number four. We've got two more questions left and then we're done. All right, we're halfway through this video and the tension is building up. If you're enjoying this and you want to see more trivia with other special guests, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Don't miss out on more fun theory challenges right here on Suja Driving School. Back to the challenge. Let's see if AJ can keep his straight going. Question number four, what can you expect if you drive using a rapid acceleration and heavy braking? A, increase road safety. Nope. B, increase fuel consumption. Yep. C, reduce exhaust emission. Nope. Or D, reduce pollution. Nope. Yeah, increase, increase fuel increase. consumption. Accelerating and slowing down yeah. the car, it will increase the amount of fuel you're using. Why? What? Why? What's the logic behind this? Because if your car is just rolling at a nice pace and you're not doing too much tear on it in terms of stopping it, so heavy braking, and your, your fuel will last longer. Okay. That's, that sounds, if you're, that if you're sounds, braking, accelerating, pushing the car like yeah, stop and start all the time, fuel. you're using yeah, more fuel. Fair to enough. More. You're going to lock it in? Yeah. Locked it in. Locked and it. the right answer was. Increase for well done, well done. That was very good. This one was easy. Yeah. This one was very easy. easy. Nice. Okay, the next question. The last one. If you answer this one right, five free lessons goes to you. I'm going to yeah. have to teach you for five hours extra. That's uh, what we need to do. Five, of course, you've already got. Question number five. The last question, guys. When should you flash your headlights at other road users? When should you flash your headlights? When showing that you're giving way. Mm -hmm. When letting them know. I've seen people use that for a lot of things, though. But, uh, uh, but keep going. Uh, B, when letting them know that you're there. C, when telling them that you have the right of way. Or D, when showing that you're about to turn. Ooh, you got one helpline left Number still. One. A, when showing them that you're giving way. When you're showing them that you're giving way because 
uh, when you're letting them know that you're there, it's yeah. no because your your headlight should yeah. be on anyway. They should see you. <clears throat> That's a stupid answer. Yeah. Uh, when you're telling them that you have right of way, why should I tell someone? They should know that I have right of way. As a, as yeah. a person who's passed their test, yeah. they should know that I have right of way at that time. Cool. And you're showing them that you're about to turn. If I'm going to show them that I'm about to turn, I will indicate. Okay, so you are saying when showing that you are giving them way. That's why you're going to use the Wait, big... when, when showing, when showing uh, that a. you're giving, giving way. Yeah. Wait, gonna... now I'm confused because when you're showing that you're giving... Snitch, guys. Yeah, yeah, I'll go uh, with number one. You're going to go, go with number I, one. I'll go with A. You're going to go with number one. Yeah, I'll go with And a. you still have one helpline left. Uh, this is your last question. If you answer this right, AJ, you'll get five free lessons from me. You're only going to give me five free lessons, guaranteed, because I know it's right. You know this right? Yeah, I know it's right. I've been studying that. Yeah? Yeah. You've been studying? Yeah. I'm studying. Uh, some, things are, some things are very just logic based. But let me read that question again because they're making me a bit nervous. No, 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 no. I mean, like. When, you sh I when mean, should you yeah. flash your headlights on other road users? <clears throat> showing them about to turn. 100% yeah. no. When, 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 when I'm turning, you should know I'm turning. Yeah. When I like, I shouldn't flash my lights at you. No. Uh, when te when telling them that you have right of way, so like, but no, no. I don't, I don't, if I have right of way, they should know. But then again, yeah. when you're showing them that you're, that I'm giving, yeah, I'm giving way. way. I'm giving yeah. way. Yeah. One. Yeah. Yeah. I'm giving way. That should be correct. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. He, and um, you're not going to use your last help like this. No. I'll save okay. it for another time. You save another time. Yeah. Cool. You're going to save for, for part two. Yeah. Yeah. For part two. Yeah. For part two. Save, two. Save cool. Locked it in? Yeah. He locked it in guys, he locked it in. And before we give you the answer, you can read the messages right now. Guys, he locked it in. He locked it in guys, he B? can't change anymore. Whoa, whoa, why is people saying B? He locked it in. Whoa, 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 what's going on? What's going on? Whoa, whoa, what's going on? Why is everyone saying it's B? Wait. He locked it in. And he was saying, he was saying as well, yeah? He was saying, yeah, it's common sense. It's not like I studied. He was like, have you seen, have you seen his face? He was like, I studied, you know. Was he a study? Oh, now I'm thinking in my head. Oh, no. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you're letting them know that you're there. Ah! <laughs> Why do I need to let you know that I'm there? You should see my headlights are on. What oh kind of God. stuff is this? You know oh what? This whole DV DV the right answer. The right answer. Oh my God, wrong. Nah, nah. Rigs, 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 rigs. I'm telling you right now, DV Lay, I want to chat to you though, yeah? The guys that's doing the road, the guys that's doing the road work, look at this guy laughing, yeah? The guys that's doing the road works in that, on my hey, life, you know. He actually happens. thought he's going to win some free lessons on, today. On my, oh my God. My life. The guys you know what? The, the guys that set the rules. You're moving are like tweaking. Arsenal. You're moving like I, Arsenal. Oh my right God. I'm telling you right now, they're tweaking. Because first of all, why on <sighs> earth do I need to let you know that I'm there? Why? Like you should be able to see me. My headlights are on. I'm, I'm, if it's day, if it's you're daytime, right. You're you absolutely me. right. It doesn't make sense. You know what? You're absolutely right. I understand in certain scenarios, yeah. If it's foggy, <clears> or if it's like if the weather conditions are like crazy, right? Yeah. And it's like, what do you call it? Like there's loads of mist or whatever, right? Then sure, flashing that you're there if you're sitting still somewhere. Why do we need to flash someone? You know what? This one was a bit tricky. I've seen on the road two cars coming head to head. There's only one little space. They'll flash you, letting you go. Or when I'm crossing the street somewhere where there's no like places to cross, people will flash lights in. That means go. Yeah. So yeah. to me, everyone uses it, that. To me, is to show that I'm giving way. Yeah. It, everyone uses that as it, I'm giving way. It, by law, it doesn't mean that. Uh, by law, flashing is like you're present. You're telling them I'm here. By law. However, nobody uses that. Honestly, everyone who drives, you know that you're flashing. Everyone uses it as in like, come, I'll give you priority. Or sometimes it's like, thank you. Even police these days, they flash at me to give me way. But fortunately, yeah, you... But, so wait, so wait. Have you ever flashed at someone to show you that you're there? They can see no, you. No, no. You have I've headlights never, on the front for a reason. I've never used that as like, hey, I am there. Like, hey, I'm there. Nah. No, I have not used that. This, no, but they, I, I hey, use they need to update their rules, man. They probably still living in the rules when cars used to be three, two wheels or something. I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the rules are too old. <laughs> DBLA, you need to grow up. I'm sorry, my friend. You were so very good. But you didn't win some free lessons. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is the end of the video, guys. Uh, this was AJ on Trivia. It's going to be on our Pseudo Dime School YouTube channel this whole video. DBLA is rigged. Right, DBLA is rigged, guys. It's rigged and the rules aren't right and we need to rewrite the system. But yeah, guys, listen. DBLA are a bunch of scammers. That's what they are. And, and um, I'm going to go speak. I'm going to send them an email.
obviously change everything. Probably sue them as well <laughs> for this, for this, for this rubbish, hey. for free lessons. Big shout out to AJ for stepping up and taking on the theory trivia. If you enjoyed watching this video and want to see more epic challenges with other special guests, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out an episode. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.